please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering concepts in this video lecture i will explain you how to do the time is to analysis by using sap 2000 software so in my previous videos i was done uh, how to do the g plus 5 building model analysis and designing and how to apply the seismic loading condition system and how to apply the wind loading condition system as well as how to do the response spectrum analysis by using sap 2000 software so in this video i will cover you the concepts related to how to do the time history analysis by using sap 2000 software so if you want to do the time history analysis you need the data which is related to l centro file data file so which is available depends upon the uh, previous data of the earthquake analysis condition system okay so we will obtain that the data from previous uh, earthquake condition system condition for the particular region so in this video i will consider only the uh, l centro file which is available defaultly by using sap 2000 software so if you are not yet subscribed to my channel please click on subscribe button uh, and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering topics let's start our video so this is my g plus 5 building structural model i was explained uh, complete details about this uh, uh, how to take the dimensions and how to apply the load cases in my previ previous video lecture so you can watch that videos i will provide you that video links in a book cut link so initially i will unlock the model this time unlocking here click on ok so click on the define option initially select the functions options in my previous video which is related to response spectrum also we have to select the functions option only select that time history analysis condition system so it will be consisting of the two types of the function ramp th and uniform th so we doesn't need this uh, ramp th or uniform th we have to delete these files initially this time selecting delete option so after this we have to choose the function type to add you can choose the function type to add from a cosine function or function from file match it to response spectrum ramp file or zoom file okay sign file triangular file user user periodic but as per uh, uh, accurate results we have to select that from file only and we have to select the new add function type add new function type so firstly we have to give the function name just i'm giving the function name is time history analysis tha in my previous video of the response spectrum analysis i was given the function name is rsa in the same process here also we have to give the function name is tha and we have to select the function file so which is available as l center file data defaultly in the program select the browse option here so here we have to select the uh, local disk c program files computers and structures in this we have to select the sap 2000 it will be consisting of time history functions here like this okay we have to select here it will be consisting of some uh, functions here like this which is related to this uh, options it will be consisting of some other functions like uh, some in or symbols and some functions here dot th files here but from this file we need to select the only the l centro file data which is related to file option here which is comes under the l centro file data here like this so we have to open this particular file so that it will display the curve here like this which is related to time versus function so just i'm selecting time versus function so you can select the values according to intervals you can select here options like free format or fixed format what do you want just i'm selecting free format only and uh, then after that we have to click on the uh, display graph option so that it will display the graph so i'm changing graph to time history function so that it will display the time history function plot for this particular section here like this so in this way you can do the defining section of the time history analysis function so click on ok option so that it will define the time history function here like this click on ok click on define option now we have to add the load cases just i'm selecting load cases option here so it will be consisting of the loads which is related to dead load live load seismic load wind load and previous related to response spectrum loads so here i'm selecting add a new load case option okay so here i'm selecting add new load case option give the name as time history analysis in x direction condition system just i'm selecting here as uh, time history option here so it will ask you to select the linear or model or directional data so basically the time history analysis is comes under the non-linear analysis only just that's why i'm selecting here as non-linear condition system and you have to select the acceleration here not the load pattern which is u1 in time history analysis with the one only so click on add option click on ok option so that it will add the time history function in x direction condition 
in the same process we have to add the time history analysis in y direction condition also time history analysis in y condition system select here as time history function non linear condition system acceleration u2 which is related to time history function y direction click on okay so that it will add the time history analysis in y direction condition system now we have to do the analysis process after definition part of the time history analysis before that i will add the support condition system at the base for this particular section just i'm selecting this assign joint uh, uh, sorry assign joints or restraints select the fixed support conditions click on apply option so that it will apply the fixed support conditions at the base for the building structural model so now we have to analyze the building structural model go to analyze option set load cases to run option here so firstly we have to do not run this response spectrum analysis condition click on the run now option so that it will do the analysis process for the time history analysis so here you can see it was done with the analysis process which is related to time history analysis process we have to see the results go to display option show deform shape which is related to time history analysis so click on apply option so that it will display that de deflection diagram for the time history analysis case in the same process you can select for time history analysis in y direction condition so now i will show you the forces option select the frames panel of force so select the shear to to option click on apply option so that it will display the shear force diagram for the model option in the same process you can select here as time history analysis condition system click on apply so that it will display the time history analysis results for this now we have to load the tables which is related to time history go to display option show tables option select here as tha click on okay option select the results which is related to uh, analysis messages if you want you can select that is not important one displacement option frame output element forces select object again in the same process we have to select the base reaction so model time period uh values here click on okay option so that it will display the uh, values which is related to response spectrum analysis condition system okay so base reaction value this is the base reaction value which is related to time history analysis this is the force value which is related to time history analysis condition joint displacement value so now we have to see the curve uh, which is related to time history go to display option so click on the show plots functions option here so you can select the defined functions here here we have to define the function plots initially just i am selecting here as base shear functions click on add plot functions so it will ask you to select this base shear values so here i am selecting this base shear x y z condition system click on okay so we have to deselect this input click on okay so we have to all add all these condition systems click on display option so that it will display the time history analysis plot for the building structural model so this is the complete process of analysis of time history analysis of building g plus 5 building by using sap 2000 software if you have any queries about this video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box so that i will give you the answer for that question if you are not yet subscribed to my channel please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates thank you